All right, Matrix. So I'm just, I've been asked to go through the percentiles and how we do it. So I'm going to be looking at the example out of your notebook or out of your note pack, and then also the question one of activity 2.3 on percentiles. So I've already put it into the frequency table over here for the example, and we're just going to look at the calculations. Now, you can follow along in the notes as well, but here we go. All right, so the concept of the percentile is that we are looking at our data and trying to break it up into pieces. So in the same way that your quartiles cut up your work into 25%, 50%, and 75%, obviously percentiles are going to be breaking it up into 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. All right. So the easiest thing for me to do here is to take a look at the amount of data that I have. So this all adds up to 40. So I have 40 points of data here. So what I need to do is I need to find out what the 20 over 100 times by the number of entries that I have, which is 40 over 1 to find out which position I will be sitting at. Obviously, that comes to 8. So, if I'm looking for my 20th percentile, I'm going to look for the 8th value in this list. Alright, so, if I look at the, the position over there, 2 plus 3 gives me 5, plus 6, it gives me 11, all right? So my eighth value will be sitting here in the region of four, all right? Therefore, my 20th percentile, all right? My 20th position is going to be the number four. In the same way, in the example, they asked us to find the 80th percentile. So similar situation. I take 80 over 100. If I multiply that by 40 over 1, because there are, once again, 40 positions to choose from, I'm looking for whichever would work out as the 80th, I'm going to get 32. That means that the 32nd position will be correct. All right, so 2, 5, 11, 15, 23. Are you following? 23 takes me to 31. All right, looking for 31. I'm looking for 32 now. So 32 must be the next one up, which is sitting at 8. Therefore, my 80th percentile is going to be an 8. All right, so what this really means is that at my 20th percentile, 20% 20 of the data is less than four. So 20% of the learners in this class got a mark lower than four. If I'm looking at my 80th percentile, 80% 80 of the learners got a or achieved a mark of less than eight. All right, less than eight. So 80% here are scoring up until seven. And my 80th percentile here is going to get eight. All right, so hopefully that clears it up a little bit with that one, All right? Because we're always looking at these boundaries of where we're sitting. All right, now looking at the activity that you have to do as well. If we're moving on to the activity, we'll see that I've now gone for a frequency table once again. We're going, I've grouped it into 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. If I go and take my data and I was to do a little frequency of this, I would get five. Let me go for the black one. Five in 20. I've got six 21s, five 22s, eight 23s, and six. 
if you're worried about do you have the right or the correct number in frequency just add it up so 16 24 30 all right so i start off with 30 values i've got 30 as my total of my frequency table so now let's take a look at what my 10th percentile would be because that's what they're looking for so here i will take 10 over 100 times by 30 over one which gives me my third position my third position one two three my third position is sitting in that section of my frequency table there so therefore my 10th percentile is going to be sitting at the value of 20. in the same way i'm looking for my 90th percentile so 90 over 100 times 30 over 1 that is going to give me my 27th position all right and the 27th position 5 11 16 24 more than 24 is a value of 24. so my 90th percentile is going to be a value of 24. okay remember what this means is that 10 percent of the numbers are below this value of 20 all right it's not an absolute because i know that third position is sitting there in the middle of that frequency but that's the idea generally i can also say that uh, the top 10 percent the top 10 percent which then would have got 24 or more if we we're referring to these mark as marks or something like that all right Hopefully this has cleared it up a little bit for you.